Now it's time to head back to the Yorkshire Dales where Jason and I are playing happy campers. Well, trying to. Sales of camper vans and caravans have been on the rise in recent years, mainly thanks to people opting for a staycation holiday. So, we are going head to head in a camper van versus caravan challenge to try and find out which gives you the best camping experience for 60 grand. Now, I've got the Marco Polo camper van with a bed and a pop up roof. Morning. Whilst I'm living it up in this Volvo XC60 and an Antares 485 with a proper double bed. And after a night in our respective wagons, it's time to get up and discuss how we slept. It's really comfy up here, actually. Now, this is where I desperately need a shower now. Or do I just not bother? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You up yet? Well, morning. I slept very well. Did, did you sleep well? Yeah, no, I slept well in there. The only thing is, because it's so small, you've got to stay organised. There's nowhere to put anything. So at least with this, you can just leave it. Yeah, you can. I mean, there's a lot of storage space. I'm starting to th understand these now. I like just waking up and pulling back my curtains and going, I'm in the middle of a field, there's a fresh poo by your feet. Yeah, well, that was that... not there last night. So where have you put the food then? Where's the food? We haven't got the food, we didn't get any. We just drove... <laughs> you weren't meant to get the food. No. And so with that, it was off to get some breakfast supplies. And this is where my setup comes into its own, cos I can simply detach the Volvo and pop to the shops, whereas Plato would have to stow everything away in his van before he could go anywhere. Volvo are on fire at the moment. I, I mean, this drives really pleasantly. I like a Volvo, actually. I think they make brilliant cars. The understated, they've got an ooze of elegance. However, I soon found a serious flaw. What are you doing? In the sensible Swede. Car turned off. Don't. That's the honour. No, don't. Try yeah, well, just imagine I was a child and kids no, could I do You don't need to really imagine <laughs> a poison, Jason. You shouldn't be able to do that. Perhaps not the best spot for the car's start stop button. Where it, look, it's a shoppish. Oh, this, is, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back in a minute. And yeah. I'm not getting any angel delight. Yeah, right. you will. Bacon got, it was time to get our breakfast on and test the merits of our camping kitchens. See, there is something really nice about cooking out in the middle of a field. First things first, I've got a much bigger kitchen area. Look, I'm standing up, I've got a full oven. I've got an electric hob as well, if I want it. That's a chopping board, uh, so if I want to do any prep... It is awkward. You've got clean down between each process. Otherwise, you've got no space to do anything. It takes about 20, 30 seconds for the hot water to come through. That is quite hot, actually. Go that way. Oh, yeah, there it is. There she blows, look. Right, let's go and see how Johnny's getting on. Oh, yeah. That is a hearty two-stage camping breakfast. Ah! Oh, Have you well, done yours yet? Yeah, welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Come in. I don't know what plane that is. I'm not up on my planes. Time to assess each other's assets. So then, Johnny, caravan, caravanet. OK, so, when you're not using this, it just sits. That probably sits less, cos you can use it as a family car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can use it for day trips. It's all integral. You don't have to unhook. You don't have to have a tow bar. Residual value on those is high. People desire those when they're second hand. That's interesting, isn't it? Caravan loses on the residual values quite heavily. But... Here we are sitting in my caravan having breakfast because it's a more pleasurable place to sit. I get a full kitchen. Full-size bed. Full-size bed. I've got a shower with actual hot water. How much is it for a shower? A fiver. <laughs> the image of your Marco Polo there, people know it's expensive. It looks expensive. It feels expensive. The finish of this is not on the par yeah, of that. No, no. But it's infinitely better space, isn't it? It's a perfectly good space, and you can choose what you tug it with. So I've gone for an expensive road car. It's a great car, that. <sighs> See, it's a bit of a gassy bird. Ordinarily, I'd want to sit here for another half an hour and just let that digest. Can we not? Well, we've got to get cracking, and we have to pack up. So, after 24 hours on holiday together, we're still very much undecided on the coolest camping combos. To try and settle the debate once and for all, we hopped into each other's rides. I got the van. I can hear Plato's wine bottles <laughs> clinking around in the back. Whilst I battled with the towing woes. 
It's ages since I've done any towing, and you kind of forget just how cumbersome these things are. Welcome to the game, my friend. This is what I spent all of yesterday doing. I was enjoying the easier ride. I mean, immediately, it's so much easier to drive than towing anything. Good driving position, way posher than you expect from a commercial vehicle. And it wasn't long before we'd made our decision. For a camping trip, I would choose a caravan, simply because whilst it's not very nice towing these things, the actual experience when you get there is much better, and it does what it says on the tin, whereas the camper van, unfortunately, doesn't really deliver. From the outside looking in, one of these Marco Polos, they are very well executed, they look great, but I think once you've pitched up, the reality is maybe slightly disappointing. You're paying a lot of money for a cramped space. If I was paying £66,000 for a camper van, I want to be able to take a poo. Agreed. If I was spending this kind of money, I would want my own throne. So I'm going to go for the caravan, but I'm actually, I don't want to drive it back, so can we swap now? <laughs> Oh, there's always a clause with you, always a clause. So the caravan and car combo wins. Bravo, Volvo and the Antares. Who'd have thought it?